Hello guys, Aris Shimidang, thanks for joining. Today I will test a few more things with the Runcam Hybrid. Today you will see menus, cam settings, QR code and the app. And if the recording affects latency as one asked. And finally some flight footage and even some low light shots. Please as always use the video index in the description. These soldering pads are a bit smaller than I like them, but yeah, that's... Um, take care, the black wire is on the outside and the signal wire on the inside here next to the connector. So you can use these wires for the joystick thing, which is the simpler thing, which I chose. You could also have these cables go to your flight controller and use a serial port, the UART port. You control it via beta flight. To enable this uh, flight controller mode, you have to shorten these wires, then power up the split, and then you uh, change it from being joystick control to FC control mode, and then you would just solder on these, these lines to your flight controller. Long pressing the up button gets you into this advanced menu they call it, but here you can just enter your call sign. I entered hybrid here. You can modify the position. I have it down there. Sharp view. They even state in the manual with sharp view on. It's sharp but also grainy and I, I turned it off. Let's see how this works. And you can have 4 by 3 or 16 by 9. You can force more horizontal view into the thing. Okay, I think I will stay in 4x3. Uh, and you see your pal, self-explanatory, and exit. So that's the normal menu which you get by pressing the middle button, the OK button. You have the picture adjustments. You can flip it to be upside down. Brightness, contrast, sharpness, U and color gain. I leave them on the default value, I think they're okay. Language, reset and exit. So no HDR settings, no special settings there. The only special setting is in this advanced menu is the sharp view. Oh yeah. In the background you see more edge sharpening. So here it is very noticeable. I already did some flights. First of all, 4K30 to me, the sharpness and everything is perfect, but the flight footage looks kind of terrible. I don't like the 30 frame choppiness. Maybe we could now again add an ND filter and make it smooth again, but I don't really see 4K30 as the main selling point for this game. I mean, they have to include it because uh, others do 4K on those small cams, but I don't find it so usable. Maybe on a plane that flies smooth and slow and from above and that you can zoom in, but no. For mini quads I still stick 2.7K60 and I would love to see maybe 2.5K uh, by, with 4x3 so we could do proper super view on it, but we can't at the moment so there's no 4x3 mode. I would love to see this in a firmware update. But other than this, really uh, amazed by the quality and it seems like those flights looked better. Still has a bit of cello, but not extremely much. Mainly amazed by the Runcam racer that's built in there. So the little cam, the little FPV feed cam is really good. So I really like it a lot. Not sure if I will turn off the edge enhancement. Now it's turned on and it's like super artificial image, but you can see a lot there. So it's nice to fly with it. One thing I noted on 4K30, it looks like the aspect is not correct 100%. So everything looks a bit taller. Uh, and by the same amount, the vertical field is a bit reduced. Vertical field of view. So I'm not sure about this. 2.760. Does it look different? I don't know. And because I don't know, I want to measure it on the computer and tell you.
you see this little blinky line so this indicates recording as does this red led uh, this red dot on the OSD with the back button you can stop recording and I advise you to stop recording after your flight if you just turn it off you will lose a few seconds of your video and by long pressing the forward button like three seconds the LED turns green and if it's green uh, the OSD says it it's in QR mode I think it stays there forever until you do something and now on the app the app is quite basic you have two pages of settings the first is the most important so here you have video quality high loop recording I don't use it but I use auto record after power up resolution of course the most important thing to set up so let's say I want to go back in the 2.7k 60 mode which is my preferred now, low microphone ISO you can set everything from auto 100 to 3200 I guess that it will be grainy between 400 and 800 so the higher settings are of no need maybe in night flying and the shutter and on the second page you have timestamp, flip screen, saturation, exposure, contrast, sharpness, measurement I said measurement to spot measurement maybe that works a bit better white balance, auto low light okay if you set up everything you hit apply then you get a QR code and you just present this QR code to the lens it took longer than normal but now it if it turns from green to blue it saw your QR code and it changes from QR mode to HD preview and as I said now that I've said something I want to turn it off this way long press the back button and then the image doesn't disappear because the Runcam Racer still has power and still shows you something but you see HD off so the HD board is off if you set it up with the QR code and then just remove the power it sometimes loses, loses the settings it had so I think it's a good idea once you have set something new to power it down via the little button so it maybe stores the settings I don't know so I wonder what happens if this little board gets a surge from the power source as they state in their manual they say don't power it directly from the battery 4s or higher even if it's 5 volt to 20 volt that it's capable of but using directly the battery power the VBAT you can go get quite high voltage spikes because of the ESCs feeding back uh, power uh, upon braking or something on this copter I hooked it up anyways directly on the battery power so until now the flights were okay and they didn't fry uh, but I'm a bit frightened that in mid-air the image goes away so I'm wondering if you have a problem with the cam will it only affect the HD I mean only you killed your $99 but will it only affect the HD cam or will it also affect the run cam racer that's in there and you will fly blind? That's a bit of a downside, um, but kudos to them to include this in the manual or else they would have a lot of RMAs. The latency measurement wasn't affected by the HD recording on or off or different modes. Latency is the same if I'm recording in 4K even. So recording yes or no or which mode doesn't affect the latency of the dedicated FPV cam. Here we have some low light tests. As expected it doesn't gather too much light here. The racer sees a bit more but I couldn't hardly fly here. So I can increase the brightness a bit but there's not a lot to gain here. As a comparison, I give you the view from my Galaxy S10 in 30 frames here. With the phone I don't see much at all, I just see the light. And let's go my standard round. Oh, it's noisy, sorry. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, back in the light again. Let's wrap it up for a conclusion. I really appreciate you guys telling me what to test in the comments of the last video. So I hope I didn't forget too much. This was meant just as a little update video. You've seen a bit of bit more footage now. I hope it helps you decide if this cam is something for you. I want to shout out to Albert Kim. He has he had an awesome opportunity to fly with Umagod with Tommy. And they both they compared the Runcam Hybrid versus the Tazier version 2. And to be honest, Tazier version 2 now looks also quite good. The FPV cam even looks a bit better. The HD cam looks a bit worse than the Hybrid. It's kind of what I took out of this video. But go check out this video, it's really cool to see it. Of course, uh, Bruce already did a review of this thing and then has some flight footage with his sub 250 plane he's struggling with the weather but who doesn't nurk uh, paul nurkula of course has a nice video check it out as well a lot of videos i hope this helps you decide if this cam is any good i think it's nice i will keep using it it will not replace all my hd cams because of course i kind of fell in love with the uh, GoPro 7 hyper smooth deliciousness. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Let me know in the comments what you think about this cam. Uh, did I forget something? I can follow up in the in the comments below. I will make a pinned comment where I write the updates in there. I love answering questions uh, to such products if I can help you out in some way. And you will see a few different videos in the near future about different products which I, which I also like. If you love my channel and if you didn't subscribe already, please do so. Use the bell icon to get instant notifications. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.